Last chance right here, y'all. It's calm now. No movement of the trees at all. So the wind is starting to do that shift thing. Dead gummit. And I'm gonna have to switch up uh, to that box blind with the rifle. This is not the way that I wanted this to go. But this little weather shift, I know that they're gonna win me in the bow blind. Archery is the best, y'all. It is the best is what gives me the most adrenaline rush, it's the most fun. Uh, and even when you don't get something, when you watch animals come by that close, it's awesome. It, it is the best. It's the, my favorite way to hunt. But with this wind shift, we gotta do the old switcheroo. I'm leaving the revolt and I'm going with the 308 uh, by Bracebilt. This is the rifle that um, Bracebilt built for me. And uh, this baby, <laughs> it's good. It's good out to 500 yards. Never hunted with a 308, and this is literally my first bolt action rifle. So I think it's about time. I mean, most most Texans, they get their first deer with a bolt action rifle when they're like eight years old. So I'm, I'm delayed a few years, but today might be the day. right now y'all 
that's the 8 and the 7 together right there. It's gotta be right. Because I didn't see that many big body deer. There was that one 9 point. We need to make sure it's not the 9 point. I know, I'm thinking that one that's closest to us is 9. We got a trophy buck out here. That's him right there. Oh, something just spooked him. And then we've got that 8 point that was just hanging in front of me last night. Got some pigs, and our seven is not here. I just feel like that seven. He's got to come in. Both the eight. The eight's mature. He needs to be taken out. But Justin really wants to. We both want to see that seven taken out first. This morning is our last morning. You gotta leave. I gotta go. I gotta take a good flight in the morning. Otherwise, I would be. Moving around the bow blind to get back on the one of these deer because it's pretty consistent. Yeah. Seven could also be on the outskirts. Just watch. I know. The pig might screw this up. He's high stepping. Once again, here we are. I mean, you'd think it'd be so simple, right? You break out the rifle, and you're like, done deal from a deer blind. But didn't want to shoot that eight point because we're gonna wait on that seven. Opening weekend, yes, I want some meat, but also just wanted an opportunity to check out the lease, see what's going on out here. And so far, we've seen Lots of deer, lots of pigs, herd turkeys. All so, morning. All morning. It's been really exciting. And uh, there's a lot more time. There's a lot more time to to go hunting. So I think what we're going to do right now, just got out of the blind because I think the pigs just kind of screwed up everything. They ended up running off as well. But uh, from what I've seen, the deer haven't come in to the, the feeders in the area when the pigs are out there. They just don't interact that well together. So gonna get on our horse and we're gonna go ride around and see if we can maybe spot some does um, and then put a spot in stock on or maybe go find another blind let's go see if we can find anything else if we don't fantastic weekend opening opening day weekend 
here at the new lease. So I'm excited to be on it. Are you? I am. I think we're gonna have some fun out here, dude. Yes, sir. This is a steep hill. Dude, this is. I feel like I'm back in Colorado. You gotta get ready, dude. You're oh, going to no I know. I'm out of shape. All right, it's time for me to get fat again. Oh, well, you got some fatty dough waiting on you. That's what you need, dude. Yes. She's bigger than the dough I shot yesterday. I know. It's weird, dude, but I feel better about this dough than shooting that eight. Yeah. Like, I feel good about waiting on that seven, even though it didn't come in. I'd love to. Take Stephanie or my dad out here and see them get one. So sweet. Looks like we got her in the lungs. Maybe a hard shot. Look at that, man. Dropped her in her tracks. 308. Not messing around. Whew. <laughs> awesome. Man, I'm so happy with this. Finally get some meat opening weekend. That's like the first thing we talked about when we got here. Like Man, we just gotta get some does. Let's get some does. And then we saw like nothing but bucks. Mike finally had a group of does come in. He got one. And then uh, we're just kind of being picky and choosy with the bucks, kind of learning what was mature and what's not out here and what we should take and what we should not take. And uh, I'm super happy with this. I'm happy with the way this hunt turned out. So, yeah. that was a good shot. Dude, this. So, I have shot very few animals that just drop like that and that wasn't even in the shoulder that was in the lung so my first bolt action rifle y'all and my first animal with the bolt action rifle thank you race built sweet all right let's get the atv over here we'll load it up then we'll get it on the skinning rack it's time to get to work eat for the freezer This is the messy part that YouTube doesn't like. So, man, last minute, last minute. I literally have to get on a flight in less than 18 hours. And I think, I think these bucks that we've got pinned down now. They'll be ready for next time. They'll be ready for next time, so. All right, let's get to work. Discards, dumps. Yep, I found the dump pile. Oh, nice. Um, Backstraps came out amazing. The tendies came out amazing. Let me show you guys. Mullet man, uh, he does this all the time. He was showing me where I was messing up, but I also got a new knife. Real sharp. A little convex. A little convex action. So, that little baby right there is just the perfect one. So, I wanted to try that out. And this is what we got. Look at this beautiful strap piece. Strapping back straps. Look how clean those came out. Basically just ripped them out. Hardly had to do any cutting. And then we got our tendies. Look at that beautiful tenderloin. So we're gonna let these kind of hang in the cooler for a little bit. Of course we got our quarters and all that good stuff. Taking to make some sausage. I think Stephanie was wanting some breakfast sausage. And of course we'll take the back straps, make steaks, and those beautiful tendies. All cleaned up and ready to take it back to the house, y'all. Cooler full of meat. It feels awesome. I was not expecting to bust out my 
first bolt action rifle and get my first deer down with it this weekend. I was so honed in on archery, but because we are on MLD and we had that option, it was a good thing to go to today. We would have definitely been blown out in that blind. There wasn't enough time uh, to move it and get things shifted around. And the pigs, man, the pigs are a problem out here. I guarantee you I'll be back uh, with the rifles and with the bow. To, to take out some of these pigs. But there's ponds that I haven't explored yet. There's turkeys out here. I'm just, I'm really excited to be on uh, a lease for the first time and coming out here for the first time and seeing uh, all that I've seen now. Definitely want to bring uh, LFD out here, bring Stephanie, let them get their first deer. That would be awesome if uh, one of them could get the, one of these coal bucks that we saw on this trip. So I, I do not feel bad at all about letting those deer walk. I came out here to get a doe and check things out. That's what we did and we got to see up close in personal action. Go ahead and smash it. I am out of here y'all to go do some fishing but I am gonna be back as soon as I can. Get some archery blinds up and uh, we gotta get an arrow through something man. It has got to happen. So if you guys went out on opening weekend, I hope you got something big. Go ahead and post it on the gram. Tag me in it and I will be back for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Them gals in Mississippi get along when they talk. Hell, they can recommend just like a cannonball. Hell, enough to watch them fall. Oh,